the one that is a uh, powder. Now I use it rare, uh, that's why it's gonna last me forever because it is a great thing to uh, have like, a, you know, powder your nose, your face a little when it is, um, you know, already reflecting too much light, when it's oily, when it is a little greasy, when you're wearing a makeup and you need to reapply your sunscreen. And if your makeup does not have sunscreen included in it, and you don't want to make a mess out of your face by reapplying the sunscreen, this one is actually amazing because let me show you how it works. You're literally opening it up. There's one thing that you're getting rid of. And afterwards, look at my face right now. It's a little life, uh, life, light reflective. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this guy. And it is perfectly working off matting my face down a little. So imagine you're wearing makeup. Imagine you need to reapply the sunscreen. You can just simply use Super Goop as a powder sunscreen, uh, which has 35 plus SPF level. And um, here, perfection. Same skin, skin color, so it doesn't make you whiter as well and uh, it is perfect if you need to completely reapply without ruining your makeup without washing it off and even if it's like during the day and your face is a little greasy give it a little give it a little bit off that's what you can do uh, a little reapplication with the powder. Now your skin does not feel greasy at all. It's actually super, super smooth, super smooth, and uh, not greasy. And this is super good, which is the price of which is twenty-five dollars right now. Uh, this is your powder here. Uh, again, it's not. Well, if you're wearing makeup, it can be used on a daily basis. My personal experience with this guy is I have been using it uh, quite some time, but not on a daily basis because I did not have the need because I'm mostly at home. But if I would be somewhere traveling in the office or else, uh, can you imagine flying somewhere, taking a train or you're on a ride? and you applied your sunscreen in the morning, you are getting out of the car, for example, you're wearing makeup, or you don't want your, you don't want to touch your skin because you don't have any sanitizer on you, or you didn't wash your hands or whatever, this simple reapplication can be used anywhere. By the way, it's very small, so you can take it with you, and you don't have to even touch your face for that, uh, because you have a little brush that will do it for you. Look at your face, looking wonderful, not shiny, not too shiny, has its natural glow still, so not too matte as well, so it doesn't look like you're wearing anything. And uh, feels amazing, looks beautiful. The skin is very soft, like super soft and super smooth. And uh, I would suggest using this one as a reapplication because technically you have to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. Uh, or at least if you've been in the water uh, right after that or you know excessive sweating or something. So do that. Uh, alrighty, so I think we have learned something together about sunscreen today. I'm going to, as I, as I have a few minutes left, going to thank you first of all for stopping by and uh, because sunscreen is important. I'm gonna repeat why. I'm gonna repeat what we had today as I have a few minutes and uh, thank you guys so much for shopping at Bear Shop and 15% uh, off during the lives are always guaranteed for you for now. So use this possibility and enjoy your shopping at their shop. If you are buying anything over $35, your shipping is free, your returns are free, 
and uh, any brands that you can possibly think of most of them are here on this beautiful platform and uh, uh, what else most of the brands are sustainable most of them cruelty free and vegan and uh, a lot of them are switching to solar power to wind power to uh, using less water to produce products for us which is incredible with the climate change that we are all uh, living in so let's care about us more by using less chemical stuff let's care about environment more by using recycled and uh, upcycled and uh, more sustainable um, brands so a few minutes left we have started with the Suntegrity sunscreen, which I also have on me. I haven't put it for you guys, but I have the body one too. Uh, so I have a few products from Suntegrity. This one is the same, which is uh, unscented, applicable for babies because uh, um, anyone who actually is sensitive to um, the scent. So this one is the body one. This one is the face one. Uh, face and neck apply every day, every day. This one is actually a moisturizer and uh, face sunscreen and your primary makeup primer. So good for a daily use. The makeup is actually uh, sitting on it very good, like as a base for the foundation. It's uh, an amazing formula. Uh, this one is a little thicker, as I've said before, so it takes uh, it takes a minute for the whiteness, the white cast to go uh, away, but it does, it does at the end. So like within 10-15 uh, minutes applied on your face before leaving the house and uh, not a big amount and the white cast will be gone and uh, your face will not look um, like you're wearing that sound of sunscreen. So don't worry about that. Um, and the other one that we have been talking about today which my daily moisturizer it's BB lifestyle the formula which is uh, cream and looks like moisturizer sometimes I do use it as a moisturizer sometimes I use it only as a sunscreen meaning I have to use moisturizer before and I'm applying this one as a um, last layer because some of the sunscreens and most of them are um, chemical sunscreens that are being absorbed by the skin uh, and the reaction is uh, actually happening inside of your cells. Uh, they are absorbing, absorbing UVA, UVB light, and in that case, they are not letting the cells to react with them. The mineral sunscreen is not being absorbed by your skin unless <clears throat> it's a moisturizer as well. So it's leaving a good uh, layer of moisture on your skin, locking your moisture for the day and uh, but the mineral SPF in it is actually staying on top of your skin causing not causing uh, creating a protection protective layer for to reflect to repel UVA UVB lights so um, I personally prefer mineral sunscreen I do not like the idea of my skin observing chemicals on a daily basis uh, the other thing is um, the environment, uh, if you are by the water somewhere, if you're using the sunscreen uh, on the beach or else, um, it is proven by scientists that uh, chemical sunscreen is causing death to the coral reefs. So please mind that when using sunscreen uh, by the beach. And uh, hence, mineral sunscreen is an amazing substitute. This one actually, BB Lifestyle, has been approved by FDA uh, since 1998 and uh, the formula is magnificent as I said before it is cream formula uh, I'm using it sometimes as a hydrator as a SPF on a daily basis it is bringing me joy because I do not have to work hard to work in, in into my face so it's not white so as you can see literally two times and it is already 
literally sitting on my face as a moisturizer. So uh, because I learned this summer that I have to use it on a daily basis because 95% of the visible premature aging is being caused by the sun uh, because UVA lights destroy our collagen, which is in dermis, in its second layer of the skin. And it is causing UV. B light causing the skin cancer, skin cancer uh, by changing our DNA in epidermis, which is the top layer of the skin. Hence, why we have to wear sunscreen. Uh, another product today that I have shown you was the recovery gel from UV Lifestyle as well. Have used it only twice because I have the need for it. Uh, it is gel with argan oil, uh, algae oil, uh, aloe oil, sage leaf extract, and I think orchid extract as well. Uh, it is like a enormous amount of um, hydration boost. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. It's boosting the hydration the, the, um, to recover your skin from either um, sun damaged already if you've forgotten to wear your sunscreen you come back home you're red as hell and then the next day you're peeling you're like oh my god so as soon as you're red apply it on as soon as you're peeling if you did not know that you you know have burned your skin before apply it anyway uh it stops the irritation stops the flakiness of the skin already uh over dryness forget it this guy's gonna fix it and the other thing is if you have done uh, laser hair removal or waxing or else you know how the skin i have i haven't done it but you have pro you are probably should know how irritating irritated your skin is afterwards and this guy is going to calm it down and um restore it faster for you so if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, they are recommending to use this guy as a recovery gel afterwards too. And the third or uh, the fourth product that we have shown, uh, we, I mean, me and <laughs> another me, my personalities, uh, the Super Goop, uh, as well mineral sunscreen. Application is super easy. Uh, you don't even have to touch my face. So hands, I am loving to say uh, this to use this one as a reapplication because if you're wearing the makeup or if you somewhere out and you can you don't want to touch your face or you don't want to mess up your makeup, you can just apply it. As you can see, it is a powder that is SPF 35 plus and it is going to continue protecting your face from the sun damage. So, as I have done this life, I applied maybe four times. <laughs> so I am super protected from the sun right now, um, but my skin does not feel greasy or heavy or else because they are pretty pretty nice well put together sunscreens mineral sunscreens for you uh on this crazy hot summer but even though in the shade during the winter during the fall either it's cloudy day or sunny day you are still getting uva uvb lights because they are coming through the clouds uh, they are coming through the windows through the glass and uh, still reacting with your skin so can't hide, can't run from it. Use the sunscreen, uh, be healthy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow for 30. And uh, toodles, we'll see you soon.